Well, the message that World Bee Day wants to send out is a world without bees would quite simply be catastrophic. Well, I'm here with an avid beekeeper, Paul Andrews. Paul, why exactly would it be catastrophic without bees? One in three mouthful of foods that we eat depends on pollination, and bees are the principal pollinator. So, quite literally, we would have no food? You would have a very much reduced variety of food. You still have the wind to pollinate grain crops, but other than that, apples, tomatoes, fruits, all that type of thing would be gone. Now, the theme of this particular World Bee Day is the effect that the pandemic had on bees. What sort of effect did it have on the bees? It was a mixed bag. The effect on the bees wasn't so much as the effect on the beekeepers. So right at the beginning of the uh, pandemic, we, we didn't know if we could go and inspect bees that weren't at our own premises. That was clarified. But uh, you always want to try and go in pairs because if something happens, you fall over or whatever, you couldn't go in pairs of people. Um, uh, bee farmers couldn't take their bees to crops. So a lot of things happen like that. But on the positive side, a lot of people got interested in nature. Walks in the countryside, a lot of people got interested in beekeeping and understand the plight that the bees are under. So we've seen a surge in interest. And it is a plight, isn't it? 35 varieties of, of um, UK bees under threat. What can we do to protect them? The best thing that you can do um, is to plant. Everyone, my wife included, likes a nice stripy lawn, but I'm always telling her to please leave some wild areas. Plant wild seeds. Go to your garden centre or go online, look what actually you can grow in your area and grow it. Um, leave it for the bees because they'll do the rest. They need the habitat. It's habitat loss. Okay. And don't use pesticides. Right. Good message, Paul. Head to your local garden centres, look for all the different pollinators you can find and don't mow your lawn for a while.